this week. Elon Musk's stake in Twitter sparks auctions bets, exchanges release trading volume reports, and SIBO awards full ride scholarships. This is Alex Perry with John Lumpian News, and this is your recap of options and market news from the week. Here are some of the week's top stories. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has bought a 9.2% of shares in Twitter, making him the largest shareholder in the social media company. Musk also plans to join Twitter's board of directors through 2024. As part of the deal, Musk has agreed not to acquire more than 14.9% of the company's shares while he remains on the board. Reuters reports that Twitter shares rose 26%, with lots of recent bullish trades and options, including, quote, in-call options betting on Twitter shares rising above $43 by April 29th. Reuters also reports that these, quote, well-timed trades in the options on Twitter are, quote, raising eyebrows from options analysts because the trades came mere days before Musk announced his stake in Twitter. This week was all about trading volumes and setting records. Kicking off the list of volumes reports was the MyX Exchange Group, which released its March 2022 trading results, reporting that its total year-to-date volume set records across all of its exchanges. The trading group reported that total U.S. multi-listed options market share, quote, reached 13.8%, up 10 basis points year over year and representing a 0.8% increase. The MyX Exchange Group said that it collectively executed 121.8 million multi-listed options contracts in March, which represents a 4.2% increase year over year and an average daily volume of over 5.2 million contracts. Not to be outdone, SIBO also reported its March 2022 trading volumes. The total volumes for all four SIBO exchanges during its first quarter of 2022 was a whopping 830.3 million options contracts, setting a record for the second consecutive quarter. ADV reached an all-time high of 13.4 million contracts traded per day. The Options Clearing Corporation has set some records of its own, announcing that its year-to-date ADP through March 2022 was 42.7 million contracts, which is up 1% compared to ADP of March 2021. The OCC reported that its total was 943.7 million contracts, which was up 4.4% from March 2021 and its second highest month on record. Eurix also reported March 2022 numbers, noting that its equity index derivatives showed the strongest growth among listed derivatives, which was up 36%. Eurix announced that the total traded derivatives contracts increased from 195 million to 246.2 million compared to the same month last year, and that its total contracts traded in equity derivatives grew by 6%. CME kept the ball rolling when it released its Q1 and March 2022 market statistics. And in the report, CME announced that its overall ADV during the first quarter had increased 19% with March ADV up 12% year over year. Options ADV increased 32% with a record Q1 equity index futures and options ADV, along with record Q1 silver futures and options ADV and open interest. The Options Industry Council will release an educational series of webinars during the second quarter of 2022. April's presentation is Covered Calls and Poor Man's Covered Call. May presentation is Spread Trading with Options, and June's webinar is Hedging with Options. Lastly, SIBO awarded scholarships to five winners of its SIBO Empower Scholarship Program, which will cover the entire cost of attendance for the five Chicago high school seniors who are awarded. This includes tuition, fees, books, supplies, 
room and board. And when the students arrived at the CIVO's new global headquarters to complete what they thought was their final round of interviews, it was revealed that there was no interview, but rather a ceremony celebrating the winners. It was then that the finalists learned that they were the newest recipients of the scholarships. As a recent graduate with over $80,000 in school loans, I can tell you that scholarships like these are life-changing and I'm sure these students will make the most out of this amazing opportunity. That's all for now, but be sure to tune into this week's edition of John's Take. Also, be sure to check out our options term of the week presented by Euronext. Fast Approaching is the 40th Annual Options Industry Conference to be held on May 10th through the 12th in San Antonio, Texas. This has been Alex Perry for JLN. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.